Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and what you see here is a pedigree of Adolf Hitler family and if you will take a look, close look here, you will find a loop here. That means that parents of Adolf Hitler who is here were relatives and very close relatives. So Adolf Hitler is a product of incest. And the purpose of today's video would be to show you how to do inbreeding calculations, how to find coefficient of inbreeding using Adolf Hitler family. So we are going to find how Adolf Hitler was inbred, to what extent, to what percentage. So if you would be able to do these calculations, you would be able to do many, many different other examples of the different pedigrees because principles are going to be the same. For my calculations, I'm not going to use this pedigree, but I'm going to draw it myself in order to avoid all the clutter and information that we don't need for our calculations. But I want to highlight that we start our calculations from here, where we have Martin on one side and Anna on the other side, and as you see, we have here a loop. So all these relatives above uh, these two people, we are not interested in them because they are not a part of this loop. Let me now clear the space and I'm going to start with those people who are a part of the loop. This is Martin and his wife, Anna. This couple had three children, all of whom were boys, so the first one, second one, and the third one. And there is different, as you see, different lengths of lines between all these three brothers, but it doesn't matter anything here. I just need a different size in order to fit the whole pedigree. And I'm not going to give names to those people who are not important for our calculations, for example, for this first brother. But second and third brother play important role in our calculations. So the second brother was Johann Georg and the third Johann Nepomuk. So they had the same first name, but because it consists of two parts, second part is different. But what is also interesting that the second brother had the same last name as father, but the third one had slightly different. I don't know whether it is depends on some rules, how names, uh, last names are given to family members. For example, in Russian language, last names can change depending on the gender. For example, father and daughter may have slightly different last names, usually last few letters of the last name, which specify gender. Take a look. Father had the same last name as the second child, by the way, the same as the first child, but third child has slightly different, I would say not slightly, basically it just starts with the same letter, but uh, the rest letters are different, those sounds similar. I want to also show you some rules. When we build pedigree, we show the first generation with Roman number one, second with Roman number two, and within the same generation, we put those people who was born first on the left. So it's going to be oldest, younger, and youngest brother. Both brothers got married. So this one and this one. And both had children. So this couple had a child who is going to be a father of Adolf Hitler. And this couple had two daughters. So this is going to be third generation. So let me show it here. This is third generation. Another strange thing for me that Hitler's father had named Alois and as you see, last name is different from his father name. He took his last name from his mother. So Alois Schickelgruber. Again, I don't know correct pronunciation. 
hopefully someone will correct me, but again, this is not important for our calculations. The name of the older sister in this couple is Johanna Huetler. Last name is the same as father's name and the first name also almost the same as the father. He is Johan, she is Johanna. Now take a look how Alois, Hitler's father and Johanna are related to each other. They are cousins. The fathers are brothers. When Johanna got married, this couple had a single child of the female sex. Her husband's name was Johann Poezel, so Johanna married Johann Poezel and they had a child, female child, Clara Poezel. At least here we don't have any mystery, she inherited the last name of her father. And as you see, Clara belongs to the fourth generation, so we put number four here and to the fourth generation only Clara on this pedigree belongs. And here is where all the fun begins. Alois marries a daughter of his cousin. So basically she is going to be his, I don't know, is there a special name for such consanguineous marriage? We show it with double line because they are relatives, maybe cousin niece. So as you see, there is different generation, generation three, generation four, so there is about 23 years difference between them. And this couple had six children. So one, two, three, four, five and six. They had children in this order. First a boy, then a girl, then a boy, then a boy, then a boy and a girl. Here are the names of all six children and as you see they all would be generation five in this family, in this pedigree. What is interesting here that they had their last name that is none of their father or their mother. It reminds the name of the grandfather on the father's side, Hed Hedler, which is also not exactly Hitler and on the mother side the uh, so this is mother this is grandmother so this is going to be grandfather who is Huetler. I don't know what caused this change of last names this was not a part of my investigation but uh, again this is not going to affect our calculations. I know that at this moment you more interested what happened to Adolf Hitler's siblings because you probably didn't hear about them and his oldest brother and you know that we count from left to right he died of diphtheria when he was only two years old his sister who was born next year also died at the age of two years and next was Otter who died the same year when he was born Again, it was just next year, so they were born each with one year difference. And next, again, one year later, Adolf Hitler was born and then his younger brother, who also died later when he was six years old. At that time, it was 1900, Adolf Hitler was 11 years old. So he remembers this event and probably this affects him deeply and probably traumatized him unlike uh, the death of his younger siblings because for example when Otto was born and died the same year Adolf Hitler was only two years old and he doesn't remember it and these two siblings were uh, born and died even before Adolf Hitler was born. So out of six children, only two children survived to adulthood. It was Adolf Hitler and Paula Hitler, who later changed her last name to Wolf. Paula lived longer than anyone in this family and she died at the age of 64 in 1960. And 
As you know, Adolf Hitler ended his life by suicide in 1945 at the age of 56. Did this consanguineous mating play a role at this poor health of the children? Probably yes, because, uh, for example, Edmund Hitler, he died from the measles, this two died from the diphtheria. At that time, the death rate from diphtheria in children under 5 years old were about uh, up to 20%, about 10, 12, but maximum 20%. And as for the measles, it was about 12%. As you see, mortality rate is very high, but again, probability to survive here was about 80% and here about 88%. Now I think you are ready for calculations. We are going to find Adolf Hitler in breeding coefficient. And again, it also applies to all his siblings. For Adolf Hitler and his siblings, common ancestors would be from the father side and mother side. Martin and Anna. Now imagine that, for example, for the gene A, Martin had two alleles. For example, allele A1 and also allele A2. For the same gene, Anna had at the same locus other alleles. For example, A3 and A4. One more time, it is very important to understand that we are talking here about some fictional gene A and this gene in a gene pool may have many different alleles. And let's say that for the gene A, Martin had two variants of the same gene. So we call them allele. Allele A1 and A2. And Anna had allele A3 and A4. So what is the probability that Adolf Hitler would inherit, for example, allele A1 both from his father side and mother side. And he is going to be homozygous for this genotype A1, A1. Take a look. This allele can be passed as follows. So it can be passed here, then here, and then here. And also it can be passed to this son here. Then he can pass to his daughter the same allele. His daughter can pass to her daughter. And she can pass to the Adolf the same allele. What is the probability that Martin would pass this allele to his son? Again, he has two alleles. So probability that this is going to be a one allele is going to be one half and that Georg would pass to Alois, father of the Adolf, the same A1 allele also would be one half and one half here, also one half here, one half here, one half here and one half here. So this is going to be a probability that Adolf would inherit A1 allele from both sides from his father side and mother side. Now let's count how many passes. One, two, three here and one, two, three, four here. So three plus four, seven. I don't have much space left. So let me use this space. So we can say that probability for Adolf Hitler to be of the following genotype would be one half in the power 7. We also can say this is going to be 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times 1 half times 1 half. So how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 more times 1 half and times 1 half. So 1 quarter, 1 eighth, 1 sixteen. 132, 164, 1 over 128. So this is going to be probability to inherit this genotype. Now let's return to our pedigree. And this time there is another possibility that from the Martin Adolf 
would inherit allele A2. And the passes are going to be the same. So it's going to be one half here, one half here, one half here. And from the mother side, it's going to be one half here, or 50% if you like, 50% chances here, and 50% would be a probability to inherit this allele from the mother side. Again, this is going to be A2, A2 genotype. Now let's return to our calculations. Probability to inherit genotype A2, A2, and to be homozygous, so identical by descent, also is going to be one half in a power of seven. And we already have found that this is going to be one over 128. Let's return to our picture again. As you see from the grand grand mother side, Adolf Hitler also may inherit two A3 alleles. One more time. This time I'm going to show you very fast. So one half, one half, one half here and 50% chances here, 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 and here. So again, the same seven passes. So probability for Adolf Hitler to have genotype A3, A3 for the gene A is going to be the same as we already have found. So A3, A3, one half and a power of seven, which is one over 128. And the last variant would be that Adolf Hitler or any of his sibling would inherit A4 allele from his grand grandmother. So one half here, one half here, one half probability here. And from the mother's side is going to be one half, one half, one half, and one half. So again, this is genotype A4, A4 for certain locus for the gene A. Probability to be A4, A4 for the gene A is going to be one half in the power of seven, which is one over 128. As I said earlier, the same is true for any of his siblings. Calculations are going to be the same. Now we have to add all this for independent probabilities. So we have to add one over 128 plus probability of being A2, A2 genotype, which is also one over 128 plus probability to be A3, A3 genotype, one over 128, and the last variant to be genotype A4, A4, so plus one over 128, and we are going to get an answer four over 128. And we can reduce this number, so if we divide this number by four, we are going to get one over 32. So we can say that this is going to be our answer, but usually we need an answer in percent form. So we have to divide one by 32. So our answer as decimal number is going to be 0 0.03125. Usually in statistics, we give uh, an answer on the scale between zero and one. But if you need an answer in percent form, we have to multiply by 100 or more this decimal point, two places to the right, and we are going to get 3.125%. So this is an answer in percent form, and this number represent how many loci of Hitler were identical by descent. So 3.125%. Now how to understand this number? Because some of you may say, oh, this is a very small number, but imagine we have 20,000 genes and 3% of those genes would be identical by descent. So it's going to be about 600 genes. You have to understand that, uh, for example, if any 
of the Hitler's ancestors have one, at least one, defective allele, but mostly all genetic disorders are recessive genetic disorders. So they would show normal phenotype. But if any of the descendants would get this allele in homozygous form, as you see, there are four possibilities for one locus, then such a person may show uh, recessive genetic disorder phenotypically as certain disease. So heterozygous people for this uh, recessive genetic disorder would be normal, but homozygous people would be affected. It is not necessary that this is going to be a certain serious genetic disorder, but you have to understand that on the overall, the health of such children, result of the consanguineous mating would be poorer than in general population. And Adolf Hitler family, his siblings, is a proof of this conceptual idea that consanguineous matings are bad for the health of the children. So co or coefficient of inbreeding for Adolf Hitler is 3.125%. If you still have questions about how to calculate inbreeding, I have many more videos with different variants of the pedigree. Just check my YouTube channel for the folder inbreeding and you will find many more examples there. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.